The battle between all the decentralized exchanges that are building on Cardano to be the first one to launch, I think has already been won. There is one particular decentralized exchange that is already launched on mainnet, seems to be dealing with concurrency issues perfectly fine and trading various tokens on there already. It's Muesli Swap. Let's have a look into it. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get hey everyone, if this is the first time on my channel, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you'll hear more from me really soon. Now, this particular decentralized exchange popped up on my radar a few few weeks ago, maybe a few weeks ago, but I didn't look deeply into it, mainly because I didn't even hear about it. Uh, I've, I saw it pop up, I thought, yeah, okay, cool, it's another one that's being developed, I'll look into it. Lo and behold, they actually launched on mainnet, so I don't know if they launched on testnet, if they announced anything, all I knew that it's already launched and people are using it on mainnet to trade various other tokens on there, people providing liquidity for the DEX and also making swaps. So I thought I'd best look into it. Now, if you look into it down here, you can see that they actually built this decentralized exchange also for smart Bitcoin Cash. So it's a side chain for Bitcoin Cash that will allow you to do all those smart contracts side of things and that's probably where a lot of the initial development started i assume and they ported it over to the cardano blockchain now both blockchains use the utxo accounting model so they're very similar in how they're set up and it makes sense to be able to build and develop on one chain and then move over to another that is built in a similar way. So it's a quick, easy swap over for them. So I thought I would have a deeper look into it. So let's click on to Exchange Cardano and we can see the Muesli swap landing page here for the DEX. Now we can see that uh, there's a whole bunch of different uh, bits of information on here about the DEX and also a little bit of information about their milk token, which they use on the decentralized exchange. So if we go into swaps now, I have played around with this DEX and I've connected up my NAMI wallet here. I do have a little bit of a balance on there and I can start playing around with things. Now, a little bit earlier, I did put in a open trade, an open order for world mobile tokens and I haven't seen that come through yet, but uh, we'll keep playing around with this and see what happens. Now, it's really important to note that the decentralized exchanges on UTXO model Blockchains is very different to that in uh, Ethereum or Binance. And this is because they have completely different setups in how the blockchains work. Now with the Cardano ones, with the UTXO ones, we can see a lot of features that you would normally see on a centralized exchange, such as the order book. The order book, the open orders, this is because UTXO allows you to do these things where you can uh, submit an order at a particular price. So if you want to buy a token at a particular price when it drops, you can because you can set the order limit. If you want to sell at a certain price, you also can. So when the price hits those points, you'll be able to buy and sell and trade for those particular prices. So it's a very interesting setup. It's very different to what people are used to in decentralized exchanges where you'll be able to quickly swap and buy instantaneously. So it's very unique for uh, Cardano and other UTXO blockchains. Now, if we can see here, the UI probably needs a little bit of tweaking. There are some more features coming soon. They also have a launch pad, which is undeveloped and an NFT marketplace, which is also under development as well. But let's go through and have a look at how the swap actually works. I'll click on the milk token here and I'll see if there's something I can buy instantly on the decentralized exchange. So if I go down here, I, these are the open buy buy orders at the moment. This this really confuses me um, between the two here. So th these are the orders that people are are buying, and I can sell to them. So this is my action, and then further down here, these are the orders that are currently selling, and I can buy. So I, I get quite confused between that. It's a, a UI thing that needs to be improved and I'm on a slightly smaller screen so it's a little bit harder to see and understand but let's see let's see if I can find a uh, order here which I can just buy like a very little amount so I don't want to spend too much on this here we go 
Uh, I can see here for eight ADA, I can get 10 milk tokens and I'll let's execute that one there. So this is my order here. This is the order summary. I can see a little bit of details here. I've got no milk tokens at the moment. It will cost, uh, I have 37 ADA at the moment in my wallet balance. I am going to buy 10 milk tokens at eight ADA. Uh, I have to deposit the 1.5 ADA and that's just to transmit the uh, token. And I have a matchmaker fee of half an eight, just 0 0.6 ADA, just over half an ADA. So total 10.1 ADA. All right, so let's submit that transaction. This will invoke my NAMI wallet to sign a, uh, sign a transaction request. So I'll just do that. You won't be able to see that at the moment on the screen because uh, I've uh, hidden it for security reasons. And there we go. So I can see that my order has a uh, transaction has been placed. Now this goes into that um, uh, that uh, order transaction list. So if I click on my trades now, that will eventually appear here. So it will just take a little while to refresh and to plan appear on the blockchain. It does need to actually uh, trigger on the blockchain, get submitted to the blockchain and recorded all there. So it does take a little while for it to appear. So I'll just wait a little moment. Now I'm just waiting for my order to come through, but um, I can't see it in there. And this is because I just did a quick check and I just have to switch my screens one more time here so that you can actually see it all. I'll just switch to the full cam view. And if I click on my NAMI wallet, the uh, order actually already executed and is already in there. So I can see my milk tokens in there already. I can see the policy ID, et cetera, et cetera. So um, that was really quick, really easy. It's um, already happened. So I, I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. Uh, the first time I tried it, it wasn't that quick at all. So it's already done. My, my trade's already done. I already have my milk tokens in my wallet. That's it. It's a working exchange. And you know, a lot of these features that are happening here for the uh, for the decentralized exchange, uh, the same mechanisms essentially work for NFTs. So it's, it's a, I'm assuming, a quick, easy manipulation of some of their code so that they can work it through and do it for their NFT marketplace. And a lot of the uh, NFT marketplaces can actually work through their code to make the trades for how the swaps would work on an open book model as well. So it's an interesting mechanism. It's very interesting to see what they've done and how things have evolved slightly over on this particular uh, particular decks. I'm quite excited to have a look and have a play around with it a little bit more to find out and learn more about the, the decks and see how it works. We can see a whole bunch of other tokens down here. Um, they've gone through and added in a bunch more down here, uh, which is great. And we can see some meme coins, of course, down here as well. And I might just have a look at the Hosky token, see what they're trading here. So I can buy 20. So, so okay, buy, sell. Let me just connect my wallet again. I can see here I can buy. Is there a small amount of Hosky tokens that I can buy for a little bit of ADA? It'd be good if I can do a little bit of UI tweaks here or if they can do some UI tweaks, not me, but some UI tweaks here so that um, I can sort by amount of ADA, sort by price and sort by the amount as well, and then and uh, trigger a buy order on, on that. So that would be kind of useful if we could actually do that. But you know, <laughs> it's a working DEX. Um, I've swapped and I've got my um, Hosky, not Hosky, my milk tokens from this. I'm still waiting for my um, executed world mobile tokens to happen. I think they're the first ones. I think they're the first decks to launch on Gandano. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have you played around with Musely Swap? Have you listed any tokens for sale? What have you played around with in general? It'd be really cool to see this one develop a little bit further. Uh, the other thing that um, I wouldn't say put me off, but led me not to go down the path of uh, learning a little bit more about the decks was that um, I couldn't see exactly who was behind the decks at all. So if we just have a look at the team page here, uh, they have nice little illustrated graphics, but um, it doesn't really say who these people are. So I can't contact them for interviews. I can't talk to them a little bit more about their platform or find out what they, their plans are. So it's a little bit of a mystery there in regards to that. And that's, that's always something that I'm already wary of. If it's a, a mystery team, is it a rug pull? Is it a scam? So far, it doesn't look like it is. It looks like it's a, a well working decks that actually works on Cardano. So, 
Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd be interested to hear and see what you have done on Muesli Swap, if you've played around with it yourself, if you've added in any tokens for sale, etc., etc. So leave a comment down below. Now, if you really enjoyed my content, please give me that thumbs up, click subscribe and click on the notification bell and you hear more really cool content from me soon. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.